It's been a long day. Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. Got an interesting project going on here. I'm gonna show y'all some failures in engineering here. Now, I don't claim to be no engineer or anything like that. I'm just some redneck that lives in the woods, but I can tell when something's working and when something's not. This right here was brought to me. This is a tongue out of a hay rake, 702 John Deere, and it's been broke four times. As you can tell, there's a weld here and a weld there, and you can tell that this is not factory. What has happened here, uh, from looking at the age of everything, this right here was the first break that it had in it. If you can tell, there's a gusset coming off this back plate, and this right here was a weakness in this metal, or not in the metal, but a weakness in the engineering. So what happened was he probably hit a ditch or something like that, tried to jump it, and it snapped at the weakest point. So they fixed it. And to keep that from preventing to happen again, they put this on here, which was a bad idea because it did not strengthen this point, it just weakened this point. And what happened was it broke right there. So they took it back to the same folks and apparently they said, oh, this thing broke again. Let's put this thing on here. And that's solve the <laughs> the pipe problem well it was still weak somewhere else and I got a call and had to go fix this in the field it broke an ear off you can see it right there where that weld is it broke that ear slam off what happened was one of these bolts that goes to the toolbar got loose and he decided to turn around at the end of the row and that joker just snapped right off and that's half inch plate 13 millimeter it ain't no it ain't no pushover. But anyways, it did fine, doodly doodly doo. And then about two days later, I got another call. This piece right here, this whole tongue, had sheared completely off the plate. And you can see my weld that I put in right here. And, uh, well, <laughs> this is four times. Usually it's three strikes and you're out. So the guy called me, he said, hey, can you fix this? And I was like, yeah, maybe, have to make a new one, but that's a job for today. Now then, we know all the weaknesses of this thing, of this piece, so the best thing that we can do is just start completely over pretty much because it's been welded on so many times and patched so many times, it's no longer straight, it's no longer true, it's got weaknesses in the metal, it's got annealed places from the heat and all that jazz. So. Just kick that to the side. And this here is what I've made new. Instead of the old bracket that's sitting over there, made some new ones. And granted, it took me a good bit of time to do all this, but hey, it's going to pay off in the long run. But anyways, we've made them wider, so our surface area is better for welding. Also, we've made, got bigger bolts. Those were half inch, 13 millimeter. These are here, 5 eighths. We've also increased the thickness of our plates. That was half inch plate, or 13 millimeter. This is three quarter, which is 19 millimeter. So, better stuff. And we have got a little better choice of, of tube instead of pipe. That's gonna be on our tongue. And we're gonna strengthen the heck out of this thing. Put some nice gussets on it, some strong backs, and it's gonna be good. So should be good but anyways we're gonna get started and I've got to tack the tongue onto this plate right here which is the forward plate it's got a hydraulic cylinder that fits in this hole and it's got two arms that control the wings on the hay rake so we're gonna take a look at all that and see what you got to do Here's a quick tip on making gussets. I know this probably sounds really dirt simple, but just in case you don't know, use your 45 leg on your speed square and just put it to the corner of your stock. Draw your line. 
draw you a perpendicular line to that one. There we are. And then uh, on your corners of your gussets, because you'll cut down the middle of this and then cut this one off, be sure to cut off your corners. of your gussets because a lot of times you'll have a weld inside there so they can just bump up to there. So that's a quick little tip on how to make your own gussets. Alright, we're going to cut this plate off this tongue up here. Get for trying to look cool. A little piece of draw set me. Cut my uh, <coughs> gussets. A few tips to cut. If you're cutting a piece like this where you got multiple cuts, save your biggest one for last. Do all your small ones first. That way you can. Minimize your gas usage. Kind of cool again. cleaned up. Now we're going to mount it to our tongue, draw tongue. is do we like it? My guess was it wasn't because the pipe wasn't strong enough, it was because it was bending in places it wasn't designed to bend. So we're going to put a stiff back in this one, we're going to put two in it actually. We're going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. Now there's a real technical term out there and I will find it and post it. But uh, 
this is what we're fixing to do. You'll see a lot of cranes have this. And what it does is, when pressure is being applied, not pulling, but tension, I guess is the right word, and it's being pressed down or pressed up, either the tractor is buckling or it's going over a hole or something like that, it's putting pressure on it in a weird space. And what this does is, this stiff back will take some of the strain off of this. This is a very, very cheap way to fix something that has a lot of strain on it in, in this direction, up and down. So, just I've got these little plates right here, and we're just going to tack them on to the tongue. One welding tip, when you go to strike, you've got a little piece like this, and it's not being held by anything, strike it off the, the big piece. Don't try to strike it off the little piece, because what you'll do is you'll stick your rod, and you'll wind up pulling it in the wrong place. So, quick little tip. Same thing on the bottom. All right, I've installed the, <clears throat> the stiff back. This is a half inch rod for 13 millimeter. And I've got it good and tacked down here at the tail. Now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna run a heavy tack here and here on both sides to get this steel hot. Then I'm gonna push this end down to connect in with this other one right here. And then this will lay down and then I can go all the way to the end and secure it to the end of the tongue. So, there we go. Give her a shot. that'll fly. So we'll go to the next one. Push it down. Put a good heavy tack on it. the heat sir. There you go. That easy. touching down there. All I gotta do now is heat that one end up and then get her on down. That's how you put in a stiff back then you can go back and weld it.
and here she is all completed. You notice there, it's got a little loop here for the hydraulic hose. And I've assembled the hydraulic end of it. This is genius how this thing's made. It's kind of like a scissor lift. And how, as the cylinder goes up, it pulls these together. That's what lifts the rake up. And I've put some gussets on there, if you can tell. That's about the last thing I've done, though. But I believe that is a big improvement from the stock one. So hopefully that won't never give him any problems. Sorry guys, I had to cut the audio right here because the cicadas in the background were deafening. But what I'm talking about here is that you can test a hydraulic cylinder with air pressure. Now this is a little bit dangerous to do. You need to watch your hands when you're doing this because there's a lot of moving parts. But uh, all you've got to do is have an air nozzle with a rubber end on it so you get a good seal on the hydraulic hookup and it's real easy to do but just be very very careful uh, because your PSI that you're shooting through there is a lot faster than any hydraulic fluid that's coming out so be careful with it and as you can tell it goes up and down but it's a good way to test something especially when you don't have a hydraulic system around and that's about it. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. As always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.